Good morning. Just a few minutes before the top of the hour. Here's a look at the stories making news today. The La Crosse County Sheriff's Office needs your help identifying the owner of this ring pictured here. The ring closely resembles one located with human remains found in the Mississippi River four months ago. Officials believe it was a male between the ages of 15 and 25 years old. If anyone can identify the person who wore this ring, please contact the La Crosse County Sheriff's Office. Well, this morning, community health uh, care workers are meeting once again in La Crosse to help innovate in the industry. The Wisconsin Community Health Worker Conference is taking place this week. The conference brings experts and leaders from all over the state for networking and ways to improve community health. North Skidalla Nature and Heritage Center in Coon Valley will transform into a spooky destination tonight. Ghoulies in the Coolies kicks off this evening with some trick-or-treating. Families are invited to walk the trails and check out the glowing pumpkins. The fun runs from 5.30 until 7.30. You do need tickets to attend this event. Uh, we have more information at this story over on our website. So if you're traveling out to Ghoulies in the Coolies, uh, <laughs> bundle up. That's for sure. Is it's grab going, an umbrella, grab an umbrella, bundle up. It's going to be all in our forecast as we head into this weekend. We're even seeing temperatures reaching the upper 60s for highs today. Some rain showers likely. That's thanks to some winds out of the south. More southerly winds tonight before those winds really shift directions. We'll see some more thunder showers and otherwise a mostly cloudy sky. Trending a little bit drier for our late morning hours by Friday. It's going to be a big story tomorrow just watching our temperatures falling. So it's going to start off slightly on the more mild side, then just getting chilly as you head into Friday night. We'll even see those lows Friday night back into those low 30s. A few more slight chances by Saturday, mainly towards our afternoon. We'll start off with some rain, could even see some snow trying to mix in with that rain. That's going to continue on over into Sunday. As for early next week, highs in the 30s, lows in the 20s.